Hey friends, I hope you're having a fantastic day. And today I wanted to continue the talk about crystals. Can crystals change your physiology? Can it change your body? Can it affect the way your body operates? And the research is showing yes. In the last post, we talked about piezo crystals. Well, in this post, we're talking about the liquid crystals of the body. Crystals everywhere. So you have these liquid crystals that are found throughout the cell membranes of your cells, throughout the cellular structure, such as the cytoskeleton, the nuclear matrix, even the DNA and the chromosomes are said to contain liquid crystals. And we see it in our technology today. It's used in flat screen TVs, it's used in computers. They are very sensitive antennas that are sensitive to the external electromagnetic field. So your cells contain these liquid crystals, similar types, and they're all small, tiny antennas. They help keep certain cellular structures apart, but they serve as communication devices within the cell and with other cells. So they become small receiving and transmitting signal towers. So your cells can transmit, send a signal, and receive it. Now when all the cells act as one, what do you do? You can become a radio tower yourself. You can create a magnetic field, electromagnetic field, that can send off signals and receive them. You can become sensitive to the external electromagnetic fields or the thoughts, or the impressions, or the energy around you. That's what the research is showing. So, it is also stating that the position of the body, the shape of the body, what form you put the body in, how you move those crystals throughout your body, can actually make you tune into certain frequencies. So it can almost go into that effect where if you ever thought about somebody that brought you joy or thought about an event that brought you joy, how your body posture could change. Why? You may be setting up your body to receive that frequency, to feel the full effect of that person trying to receive a signal and maybe even send off a signal to that person. Have you ever had the time where you thought about a person Maybe change your position, maybe change your thought, and that person calls or texts. There seems to be some real good validity behind this thought about crystals being small communication devices and how you set your body up, how you think, the electrical signals sent throughout your electromagnetic field, through your acupuncture system and your neurology can actually send off a signal or receive it without saying a word. So if we're all radio towers, we want to start to ask another question. How can a crystal, a quartz, or a stone affect our electromagnetic field? Well, practitioners that, or individuals that wear crystals around their neck or around their wrists, those that put them in the home, they are saying through research that this can have an effect on you by the crystal themselves, the external crystals found throughout the world, emitting their own frequencies. They all have their member, their negative and positive charge centers, and so the shape of the crystal can actually create its own frequency, its own electromagnetic field. They can measure it. So if you put a crystal or a quartz or anything near your body, that wave, that electromagnetic field can put an impression or affect your cells. So there becomes a resonant frequency. You start to resonate in the crystal with each other. You start to resonate with the crystal trying to match its frequency. So they call that a resonant frequency. It's called interplay. You interplay with the frequency of the stone, the crystal, or the quartz. So if it gets near you, your body will try to actuate with it, vibrate with the crystal. So whatever the frequency of the crystal may be, it may make your cells start to vibrate as the crystal's frequency. So if the crystal is at 52 hertz, microhertz, your cells can start to vibrate at 52 microhertz. Now this is the kicker. Why would you use them? Well, every tissue in the body oscillates, has a measurable vibration coming from the cells of particular tissues in the body. For instance, your ligaments have a specific type of frequency. Your muscles have a specific type of frequency. Your organs do. They all have a specific frequency range. So let's say, for example, your muscles were from 82 to 95 microhertz. If that frequency ever gets out of range. If your muscle gets injured, what if your muscle falls below the normal range of a healthy muscle or above the range of a healthy muscle? So you need to be brought back into normal range. So the idea is to take a crystal or a quartz that has a frequency that is of the healthy range of your muscle. So let's say 
that that crystal, whatever it may be, brings you back between the ranges of 81 or 82 and 95. So if you put it near the muscle, your muscle will start to try to match the frequency of the healthy vibration given off by the crystal. So your muscles start to try to train or actuate with the crystal as you place it near the body. That's why people will say, whenever I basically had a crystal or a quartz placed near my muscle or I wore it around my neck, I had this different sensation, my body felt better, I felt looser, there was more blood flow, more communication, because you're creating healthy vibration within the cells, which does what? Increases communication, blood flow, the movement of electricity through the tissue, which creates ease, brings you out of inflammation, and so the body can actually heal. So wearing certain crystals near like the heart or near the lungs that help you get to a healthy range within those organs apparently seem to help heal the organ tissue. It's vibratory medicine, vibrational medicine. That's why sonic waves, sound waves can affect you. Why is it that if you hear a certain sound or particular uh, music playing that you think a certain thought, think of a certain place, a certain person, and that changes your biochemistry. That changes the way you biochemically are at that present time and can change how you what? Express certain feelings. It changes you, who you are, just from a sound, from a vibration. So that's the same thought behind a crystal of quartz or stone. That's maybe one of the many explanations. Remember, if you guys have more thoughts or more uh, input, let me know. So you have this quartz, this crystal, changing your physiology because their field interacts with your field. Now this is a small explanation about how these things can help change you. But I want you to know that whenever you find a crystal or how do you find a crystal that works with you, it's important I guess to find out what frequency ranges that crystal is exuding, what it operates at. Because you don't want to have a crystal that brings you out of a healthy range. And you don't want to put a crystal on you that puts you into a high inflammation range. You want to find the one that works for you. Now, I'm not the expert for that. I've had times where people have brought crystals in and I've been able to see if it makes them stronger in their muscular uh, physique, in their physiology. And I've also seen if it's calmed down their acupuncture points. And it has. Some have actually caused a little bit more inflammation run through the acupuncture system, which I say this may not be the one for you. But I wanted to say that these are some clear explanations, which I love to investigate, to show that crystals can have a positive effect on the body, on the physiology of the body. So in the post, I go into some more detail, but I wanted to let you know that there is a way that crystals can bring your muscles, your body, certain organs of the body, tissues of the body, back into a normal range. And that's how they can affect your physical, physiological body. So if you guys have any more input, any more thoughts, I want you to send it to me, all right? Now, there are so many different types of crystals out there. I mean, I have friends that have different types and different forms, and they have different explanations for them, and I do read about them, and I do study them, but I think it's the journey of the practitioner, of the person themselves, to find a crystal of their liking. So if you guys have any more information, please send it my way. I think it's found in technology in the world. We use it every day in our world, so why not have it in the body? It's there. We're all communicators. We're all radio towers. Guys, I love y'all. I hope this was helpful. Take it easy. Send me a message. Love y'all.